And we begin with this quote from Matt Ridley, right? Which is that innovation is the, chi is the child of freedom, but the parent of prosperity, right? And how do you get this kind of constant churning for innovation is because the signals and incentives within the system are constantly generating this new and ever fresh knowledge to tell us about what possibilities might be in, in the in, out there, right? And so it's this generative aspect of the knowledge that is such a critical aspect of competitive markets. And outside of that process, it's not that the mark, the information is difficult to process. It doesn't exist. It right. literally isn't there. Yeah. So, so that kind of is very important for the current AI debate. Um, I've encountered socialist arguments that once we have super quantum computers, yeah. Um, they will be able to project into the future of what needs to be produced and what doesn't need to be produced and in what quantities, etc. cetera, um, because that's the ultimate socialist dream, to centrally plan an economy. And once you have enough data, yeah. then you can do that. Yeah. But the problem there is that, that actually... Um, decentralization is fundamental for the production of the information. So you cannot actually have a centralized state collecting data. You need to have a decentralized state creating information. And that's why the, 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 the hope that socialists have of, um, of supercomputing socialism in the future cannot work.